Today is how to spiral curl. We're going to use the skinny curling iron. And then I'll roll it up and I'll pinch this and let a little bit out until I can get the end pinched in here. And then usually, and the reason why my curling iron looks so bad is because I would get my hairspray and give it one squirt while it's at this stage. And that makes it hold so much better. And then I let it out and I make sure I let it out. I gently release while I twist it backwards. I don't brush it out, I don't do anything, but just leave it sitting like that. And then I'll do the next piece. And I can't get all the way to the bottom. When I get about here, then I'll tuck these ends in and then I'll twist it the rest of the way up. Okay, I'm going to do each strand of her hair. So after I've done some on the top, I can reach these ones underneath. Okay, so we're just about done here. I, I did those curls all the way around, but I haven't touched any of them. I put this headband in. I put it here in her hair and left a little ringlet in front because I thought that would be cute. I didn't put it over here. I just tucked it under and let these curls flop over. Now with these, all I want to do is separate them and twist it around my finger. Separate them and twist. That way it keeps its spiral shape. Now her hair has a very hard time holding a curl. This and sponge rollers are about the only two ways that I can keep a curl in her hair for any length of time. If I don't do it like this and I curl it, it'll be flat in 20 minutes. So I just want to let these out and twist them around my finger. Oops, that one got a little snarly. And I'll do that all the way around. And if I don't have enough height, like right here, I want to add an extra curl. So I'll just separate it out. And I'll curl it higher up on her head this time. So I'll twist it. And get those ends in. I'll grab my hairspray, give it one squirt. I'll hold it until it's hot. kind of touch it when it's ready then I'll release it as I pinch the button in a circular motion and then she has a curl that's much higher up. I would do the same thing here. I want a little more height here so I'd kind of pull some out with my pinky. It's a little hard to pull out because I put hairspray in it. So I'll pull it up, pinch it in the curling iron, start to spin down so I don't lose those little wispy pieces because her hair is so slippery and soft it just slides right through the curling iron. And when it's hot, I'll just release it. Now I'm going to separate these curls, the rest of them. Now with, with her hair, in order to keep these curls in, and I even do this with my hair too, if I'm going to go to all the trouble to curl, and hers only took about 15 minutes, but still, if it's a special occasion and I want the curls to stay in, I will squirt like this, and then I'll just squeeze. Turn. So let me show it. I'll squirt and squeeze and squeeze and then I'll do the same thing here squeeze kind of gives it a, a cute texture as well turn do the final side and then she's done and this will hold for hours she has several hours ahead of her with this curly of hair